what's going on guys welcome to another video so for today's um app sheet episode we are gonna run through a fair bit on svg also known as scalable vector graphics so svg has many use in other platforms or other use cases but for app sheet specifically um you can sort of use svg in your icons or you want to use as part of your diagrams or illustration or perhaps some dynamic graphics which we'll be doing today so the benefits of svg is the quality is scalable means it won't lose its uh, quality in, in a larger screen or smaller screen i mean because it's not in pixel SVG is in uh, basically made up of lines and curves. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys. So to start off the SVG journey for part one or the first time, let's say we have a percentage data. So as you can see on screen, I have the unique ID and the following columns are the app usage the update frequency and user satisfaction all right so let's say we have an app in app sheet that we have brought the um, percentage and i've done two of the svgs uh, so as you can see here the app usage percentage, seventy two percent, will uh, sort of show you seventy two percent here, and the update frequency, so it's forty five, so it's forty five respectively. Now let's say I want to add another one, another SVG for user satisfaction. Okay, so there is a a tool called dim or known as dynamic indicator maker so it is actually done by uh, a developer for app sheet so i'll share you the the link to this app in the description down below okay now in this app you are able to sort of uh, select the indicator type okay whether you want it to be horizontal or is it to be a circle or vertical okay and of course there is the corners and all that so you can sort of play around and you can change the colors of the gradient and text and the background as well okay but i want to bring your attention here okay so you can actually see there is a, a ready-made code okay so this formula is actually based on what we have set up here above here now i just wanted to make sure that we change this pct full to the name of the column that we want to use so in my case is the user satisfaction percent okay so i'm just going to copy this and add here so once i've add here the formula or the uh, code will sort of change and you can actually see there is a user satisfaction percent here okay and this is uh the setup that basically would enable the svg to dynamically follow the value in the columns that we have set in my case is user satisfaction okay so let's just use uh, let's go with um, okay horizontal and since uh, there is a color code selection here I'm just gonna click and let's just pick one color mm user satisfaction i'm just gonna go with um red is fine do we have red okay we have uh green and purple so let's go with maybe light blue yeah 
So it's going to be go for the lighter option here. Copy the hex code. Back in the DIM indicator maker. So I'm just going to change the first gradient. So you can see it's slightly bluish. And we're going to go with a slightly darker gradient here maybe. And gradient color too. And voila. Okay, we have this. It's beautiful. All right. So let's copy the whole code here. Next, what I want you to do is to create a virtual column. And I'm just going to name this as user satisfaction. Okay. And we'll paste the code here. Click on save. And one final adjustment that we need to do before we want to see the um, SVG is to set it to image. All right. This is very important. Don't forget. And click on save. All right. Now, not to worry. I realized it's the... Uh, the numbers in the SVG, it's more than one in user satisfaction data. So it's 88%, but here is 8,800%. So that's not accurate. So in SVG, you need to sort of be familiar with the codes that we are using. So let's just go down here and look for where it's making the multiplication. So there is one where, where is it? Mm. User satisfaction. There you go. So that's a times 100. So whatever value that you have, it will times with 100. So we don't want that. I'll just remove this for now. All right. Click on save. So the value will be correct, by, by right? But now the indicator is not really showing the levels respectively, okay? So another adjustment that I'm going to make here in the code that we have used is to look at the times 150 in line number 13, going 14, I guess. Okay, so instead of using 150, my adjustment would be 1.5. Okay, 1.5 is uh, substantial enough for my display. So when I click on save, then you have the levels accordingly. So this is one of many uh, use cases of SVG that you can sort of give it a try to get yourself familiar with okay i'll be doing more svg uh, use cases or tutorial in the next coming future so basically in svg you can sort of do many things including uh, scorecards or custom display or anything that would sort of enhance or augment your user experience in appsheet so this is considered very basic for your case but if you're a first-time user, get this is the best way or best place to give, give it a go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. So basically, I purposely add the adjustments to the um, formula or code. Um, basically, if you're using decimal, should not have any issues. But uh, the scenario that I'm using today is basically to show you that you can also customize the formula to your own liking okay and some cases it can work by directly copy and paste from the, the dim tool and perhaps some other cases you may need to do some slight adjustments like what we just did earlier so don't forget to drop a like if you find this useful and do share this with your friends and of course if you haven't subscribed please do so so that you will see more contents like this and let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below. So I end with my thanks and hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.